see one more question. Okay, it is explain the features and duties of promoters under Real Estate Act. So if you look at the syllabus, unit five is regarding that. Real Estate Act as in Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016. Now, what is this act all about? Real estate, what is real estate? Have you heard of it before? Hi, yes, ma'am. What is real estate? I, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> oh. So you might have heard real estate agency. Mm. I'm a real estate agent. I'm a real estate agency. As in they deal with land, property, etc. Okay, so if I say I'm a real estate agent, maybe I help people uh, sell plots of land. Okay, or mm. maybe uh, find plots of land or chase plots of land, maybe to get land on lease, rent, purchase, sale, gift, whatsoever. Like I deal with properties. When we say real estate development, regulation and development act, this is an act which was introduced in order to regulate uh, these builders and all are there, right? Who develop certain plots of land or maybe who will, uh, you know, like construct apartments and all. There are a lot of uh, problems arise, right? Because of miscommunication and because of a lot of issues, a lot of problems people face. So this legislation is there, okay, in order to regulate all of that. Real Estate Regulation and Development Act. How can we address those problems before they even arise? We have this legislation. And if a problem arises also, what can be done? Okay, so Real Estate Regulation and Development Act, it's an act of Parliament of India. Okay, so what is this act all about? It seeks to protect home buyers as well as help boost investment in the real estate agency. When problems can be reduced, we would see more investments in real estate industry also. So it aims at that. Chapter two of the act provides for functions and duties of promoter. But now who is a promoter? Promoter is defined under section two clause ZG of real estate act. Who is a promoter basically? Like if in talk about apartments, the builder who is building it. If a person is constructing it for the purpose of sale, that person would be called as a promoter. Like the person who is developing a project on a certain land or maybe constructing apartments and stuff like that okay maybe promoter you can think like builders builders of a house they are nothing but promoters okay so what are functions and duties of such builders or promoters as mentioned under rera act okay so these are the persons basically who can be considered as a promoter a person who constructs independent building or maybe multiple buildings consisting of apartments who develops land into a project, any development authority, all of that would be included. Okay, now what are the powers and functions that is mentioned under section 11 of the legislation? So these are the powers and functions. We have total six powers and functions. Inside that again, we have certain uh, things in detail. Okay, first of all, once registration formalities are done, and login ID and password is available, the promoter must create his web page on the website of the authority and enter all the details of the proposed project for public viewing. Once a project starts, like a construction of apartments maybe, you might have seen the project starts and then they display it, 3 BHK, 2 BHK, this price, that price, OC, this, that. Have you seen like that big hoardings would be there? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Right? Construction has just yet started. They would mention a lot of things. OC will be given. OC is nothing but occupancy certificate, right? OC will be given a khata property, this property, that property. A lot of details would be mentioned. Now, it might happen that today a person has started with a project. Today, he has put a big holding mentioning a lot of details. And tomorrow, he might remove all of that and he might say that I never said like that. Who said, I'm not giving you OC, I'm, this is not an Ekhata property. What will you do as a buyer? Because you saw that holding and you purchased the property. Now, if the buyer promoter has removed that holding and he's saying that, no, I have never said like that. What would you do? You are going to suffer as a buyer, right? And that's how 
people would be afraid to invest in these sort of apartments, right? That's why in order to regulate all of that, we have this legislation. So first of all, it says that as a promoter, you need to register yourself in RERA. Okay, so the person will have to register. Once registration formalities are done by the person, the person will get login ID and password so that he can log in himself as a promoter in the website. Okay, then what he will do, the promoter must create his web page wherein details would be provided, whatever he is claiming, a khata property, OC certified this, that, he needs to provide that and he needs to create his web page on the website of the authority and enter all the details of the proposed project for public viewing. Whatever project he has started, he would provide details of it. So that whoever is interested to purchase a property there, the person would see those details and then be able to decide whether he wants to purchase it or not. Okay, so what details would be provided? You got the context, right? What they will do? Yes, ma'am. So what details would be provided? Details of the registration granted by the authority, quarterly up to date, uh, the list quarterly to up uh, to quarterly up to date, the list of numbers and types of apartments or plots as uh, the case may be booked. So they would provide details also that these many uh, flats we have, these many are booked, these many are open for you to purchase. Quarterly up to date, the list of number of garages booked. Quarterly up to date list of approvals taken and approvals which are pending subsequent to commencement certificate. A lot of approvals and all needs to be taken from different authorities. So that list also would be provided. These we have taken, these are pending. Quarterly up to date status of the project. How much work has been done? 30%, 40%, 50%. That details would be provided. Such other information and documents as may be specified by regulations made by the authority. If RERA says these certain details also you need to provide, that also uh, the promoter will have to provide. So basically all the details which will help you take a decision as a buyer, those details must be updated on the website. Okay? Okay. So this is first of all duty of the promoter that those details would not be just on the holding, but it should be uh, available for the public to view and it must be updated on the authority's web, uh, website. The advertisement or prospectus issued or published by the promoter shall mention prominently the website address of the authority. Now, have you ever visited any such builder for any apartments, any, anything like that? Not yet, no. Not yet, okay. So you will see when they are, you know, like just constructing it, right? There will be like a small office sort of a thing, like a small room they would construct and there one person would be sitting. Almost like 24-7 he would be sitting. So as a buyer, if you want to go there and if you want to visit, definitely you would have a lot of questions regarding the property, right? So you will go there, they will take you straight to the office and they will give you something like a prospectus also. Like one big, nice booklet would be there where all the details would be given, pictures and everything. Pictures of how the project would look after completion, all of that. Right. So when you talk about that prospectus, because that's something which attracts customers by looking at the prospectus, many people purchase the property. OK, or looking at the advertisement, many people purchase the property. So whenever you are advertising it somewhere or you are preparing this prospectus, you need to mention this website address also where all these details would be given right that website address you need to mention so that people can go there and see OK, these are the things. This is the status exact details they would get to know wherein all the details of the registered project have been entered and include the registration number of things from the authority because after registration all of this would be done so registration number also will be mentioned there website address would be mentioned if anyone is interested they would go and visit the website for more details okay is it clear clear ma'am so is there any such ongoing project near your house Maybe mm -hmm. apartments or something that you have seen. Mm -hmm. Half constructed? No, no. 
Okay. No. So, so in case there was something just for the sake of getting experience, you could have visited there. Okay, nobody would ask you anything. You could have gone there and you could have visited. All of these things you would have experienced yourself. Whatever is mentioned in Reda, right? All of that you would get to know there. Okay, when you practically go there and view it. So anyways, fine. If it's not near you, you can simply read the provisions. You will anyways get the context. Okay, so at the time of booking and issuance of allotment letter, the promoter shall make the following information available to the allotment. Section plan, layout plans, along with specifications approved by the competent authority, the stage-wise time schedule of compl completion of the project, including the provisions of civic infrastructure like water, sanitation, electricity, etc. Now, you visited the, uh, have constructed uh, apartment maybe. And you decided to purchase it by looking at the prospectors. You also saw their website and you were convinced you decided to purchase. Okay, now what you will do, you will book it, right? Because it is still under construction, you need to pay some amount and you need to book it. So at the time of booking and issuance of allotment letter, you would book it if you are taking for loan, loan formalities and everything you would do. And then they would give you like allotment letter that yes, this certain flat is allotted to you. So at the time of booking and issuance of allotment letter, what promoter need to do is, they need to provide this information to the person, okay? So what information they would provide? So you, are, you have decided to purchase the property. Over there, they will have to inform you or they will have to give information regarding the sanction plan. As in, they will plan it, right? That we are going to construct maybe 50, of flats in this apartment and 50 flats, there will be 25 2 BHK, 25 3 BHK. That is nothing but the sanction plan. What is approved from the authority? They need to take permission that this is what we are going to construct. This would be size, dimension and everything. That's the sanction plan. Okay, then there will be layout plan also wherein they would mention like a drawing would be there proper. This is bedroom, this is dining room, this is hall, this is that. Have you seen like that drawings? Yes, ma'am. Right, that is nothing but the layout plan. So that also they need to give whether kitchen is left side, right side, what side, that details they would give for the entire flat, it would be mentioned. Usually in prospectus also it's mentioned. Along with specifications approved by the competent authority. Specifications as in maybe balcony is there, maybe north facing, south facing, whatever. Those details also would be provided by the promoter so that you can take a better decision. The stage-wise time schedule for completion of the project. That by maybe June 2023, we are going to complete the construction work. After that, by September, we are going to finish all the electricity work. After that, we are going to fit in all the grills and whatever doors and the stuff is needed. That That's nothing but the time schedule that by this month, we will finish this certain work. By this month, we will finish the painting. By this month, we will get it ready for handover. That's nothing but the details should be provided to you. Including civic infrastructure, there are certain other things that you would require, like water, uh, sanitation, electricity, etc. What about provision for drainage? That details would be provided. What about water? How water would be provided? Is it 24-7 or not? What about electricity connection? All of those details also will be provided by the promoter, okay? Is it clear, point three? Yeah, ma'am. The promoter shall be responsible for all obligations, responsibilities, and functions under provisions of this act or rules and regulations made there under or to the allottees as per agreement for sale. So promoter will, will be responsible for whatever duties are imposed on him under this act. Like he is told that you need to give the section plan, layout plan. In your prospectus, you need to provide website address. All of that he needs to do. Apart from this act, there may be some additional rules and regulations that are framed. Under that also, if he is having some responsibilities, that also he should be performing. Okay. Apart from that, there will be an agreement for sale, right? When you purchase the property, there will be an agreement of sale between you and the promoter. So under that also, if he has said that, okay, we are going to do this for you, we are going to do that for you. If we are not able to deliver it on time, we are going to compensate or something. 
those also they need to follow basically under the agreement of sale whatever commitments the person has made those also will be binding on the person to obtain the completion certificate or occupancy certificate or both so from the concerned authorities they need to obtain something called as completion certificate as in the project has been completed or occupancy certificate it's now ready now you can stay there you can reside there authority has given you permission those also need to be taken that's an obligation on the promoter so you would see this half constructed buildings right they would see oc obtained as in occupancy certificate we have obtained okay cc obtained as in already it is obtained so you just purchase the property and you can just move here the very next day okay that's nothing but something what they display in their ads also to obtain the lease certificate where the real estate pro project is developed on a lease whole property so there are certain places like uh, noida there you cannot purchase a property just like how you purchase here like it's like sale right you purchase the property for your lifetime like forever but in noida you cannot do that okay there you can the property is given to you on lease for some 90 to 99 years by the government authority so in such cases lease certificate also has to be obtained okay okay the for providing and maintaining essential services on reasonable charges till the taking over of maintenance till the taking over of the maintenance of the project by association of the authority so until and unless property is properly given to the people they form an association and they you know like settle down the promoter might say that we are going to take care of maintenance maybe we are going to take care of the electricity expenses for the street lights and all of that we are going to take care of the security like that also many promoters say so if they are saying like that those also needs to be taken care of enable the formation of an association or society or cooperative society for the allotees now there will be like 50 houses maybe 50 families will be there they need to form an association to take care of their day to day activities like if some electricity problem is there lift is not working uh, the gate is broken all of that needs to be addressed right so for that there will be usually, usually an association that will be there so promoter may uh, help in formation of the association as well execute a registered conveyance deed of the apartment plot or building in favor of the allottee so the property is given to the person given to the allottee for that also registration formalities also the promoter will take care of promoter only will go and fix get a registration date and then call the allottee allottee will go and they will get the property registered in sub registrar office also pay all outgoings until he transfers the physical possession of the real estate project to the allottee or the association of allottees so whatever uh, trans uh, like uh, amounts they need to spend maybe while doing the construction also they had to uh, keep a security guard just to ensure that their belongings are safe that security guard promoter will have to pay them, that person right if they are uh, hiring some machine some person whatever expenses are there right before handing it over those promoters usually take care of is it clear till here yes any points you have doubt please you can tell no the promoter may cancel the allotment only in terms of the agreement for sale if they want to cancel it for any reason it would be based on the terms of agreement of sale only otherwise they cannot say that okay i don't maybe there was a construction going on promoter sold the property who purchased the property for 40 lakhs now it is uh, it has come on news that they are constructing a metro just next to the apartment so price has increased massively now it's like 70 lakhs or something so promoter cannot tell you that no no cancel this sale date uh, i am not selling it to you because you had paid only 40 lakhs i'm selling it to somebody who is ready to pay 70 lakhs that would not happen they cannot just say like i am canceling it okay if there is any clause in the agreement for sale which gave any provision for cancelling it out that might be a reason just like that randomly they cannot say that no just cancel let's cancel it out like that it would not happen 
the promoter shall prepare and maintain all such other details as may be specified by regulations made by the authority so whatever the real estate regulation authority this rera is like the supreme body okay so whatever orders notifications whatever rules regulations they are bringing promoter will be responsible to follow that as well okay so all of that would be not okay. the functions or duties of the promoter okay okay is it clear clear 